Guys, just so you know, I do have an Instagram and a Twitter where I post every day. Well, Instagram, I'm working on being more active, but go follow me on both so you don't miss anything, and that's at TerrySongTV. Now, today's story is gonna be a little bit different, and it's a story that I wrote based off of my experience in my last year of middle school, where, at the time, I had a creepy math teacher who flirted with all the girls in class. Now, before I start this story, I had a few problems with labeling it the way it is, because I do not want to send out the message that all teachers are creepy, all teachers are bad, we should rebel against teachers, blah, 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 blah. No. Teachers are good. Teachers teach kids about subjects they need to be educated about that'll stick with them for the rest of their lives. Okay, maybe you don't need to remember which year we won the Civil War, but how about reading? Yeah, you like texting? Well, good luck texting without knowing how to read and write, idiot. Uh, anyways, let's begin. So this story starts off when I was in eighth grade, and at the time, I had a math teacher named Mr. Butkus. Yeah, we're just gonna call him that. His real name was even worse, believe it or not. And Mr. Butkus, for lack of a better word, was a pervert. Or at least, that's how he came across to everyone in class as well as myself. Now before we get into the creepy stuff, let me preface it by describing how he treated the girls versus how he treated the guys. Basically, he would yell at us for really small, insignificant little things and not even lift a finger if one or multiple girls were doing the same thing. Alright class, so uh, remember to use the uh, square root to the quadrilateral hypothesis to come up with the uh, Sterling quadrilateral equations and decibel formulaic equations that'll uh, come out with the right answer. Okay, look, math wasn't exactly my best subject, so I don't remember what exactly he taught, okay? It was mathematical, okay? That's all that matters. As Mr. Butkus was writing on the board, one of the girls in my class pulled out her calculator. Hey, are we allowed to start using our calculators already? I don't know, Morgan is. My friend and I pulled out our calculators and started working on the assignment. And I kid you not, less than 10 seconds later, Mr. Butkus turns around and yells at us. Terry and Jimmy, what do you guys have calculators out for, huh? Did I say you could use your calculators yet? What's the matter with you guys? Come on! At the same time this happened, Morgan casually and awkwardly slid her calculator away. And you guessed it, she faced zero consequences. Now, here's where it starts to get weird. I remember one time he made me and a couple other boys stand at the front of the class and he would literally just ridicule us for wearing baggy jeans and sweatshirts but then reward the girls for wearing tight, form-fitting clothes. Like what the funk, man? Like what do you expect from us guys? Skinny jeans weren't even a thing back then. Look at you guys. Why are your pants sagging down so much? Come on now, you look like you're wearing your dad's clothes. After he got done roasting us, he would make some of the girls come to the front of the class, but instead of roast them, he'd compliment them. Now Morgan, on the other hand, look at her. Turn around for me, Morgan. Yeah, she's actually dressed like a young lady. Her clothes actually fit her. Do you see her jeans sagging down? No, they fit perfectly. And look at Stacy. Same thing. Very nice, ladies, thank you. At the time, I was only 14 years old, so I couldn't really see signs of any inappropriate behavior. But looking back on it now, it just comes off as a little weird. And that wasn't the only time he would be creepy. Sometimes he would make the girl students stay after class to talk to him. And it was always one at a time. All right, class, that'll be all for the day. See you tomorrow. As me and the rest of the students would get up to leave, he'd often ask one of the girls to see him after class. Morgan, uh, stay after class for a minute. I want to talk to you about something. Oh, okay. As the classroom would empty, one girl would often stay behind to talk to Mr. Butkus. I never knew what about, only that it was almost never one of the guys. Now the point where it all really started to get weird was one day when he more or less basically confessed to liking, or at least favoring, one of the girls in class in front of everybody. But I'm pretty sure it was a slip of the tongue kind of thing. What a shining example of a student Jordan is. For that, you get a bonus homework pass. A homework pass was basically a one-way ticket to a homework-free night, and they were extremely valuable back then. Really? But why me? Because I like you. There was a brief awkward silence that filled the room. Almost as if he didn't mean to say that, but a moment later, perhaps out of sheer awkwardness, Morgan responded with, Oh, <laughs> I like you too, Mr. B. There was another brief silence as Mr. Butkus didn't say anything at first, but smiled, almost as if surprised, and asked, Really? Well, I'm glad to hear that, Morgan. I guess that means I'm an okay teacher. The moment he said that was the trigger for me that really told me he was out of line, and that's honestly my most vivid memory of the whole experience. And that's also when my friend Jimmy decided to score some points on Mr. B and get some revenge. The whole class erupted in laughter, and at the same time, I could tell Morgan was feeling uncomfortable despite trying to laugh it off too. But Mr. Butkus, on the other hand, he was furious. Jimmy, get outside right now, that's not funny. What did I do? Out, 
Or you can go to the principal's office instead. Left with no choice, Jimmy went outside into the hallway. All right, class, uh, settle down. That was uh, pretty funny, huh? And just like that, he continued on with his lesson. A few months later, after we switched semesters, Mr. Butkus ended up leaving our middle school. Not sure why, but it just kind of happened. After he went away, we didn't think too much of it, just figured he moved to a different school or something. No one actually knows what happened. Maybe he did move away, or maybe he got caught doing something he shouldn't have done. But at the end of the day, he wasn't at our school anymore. And that was a win on its own. And that's pretty much the end of the story. No one ever heard from him again. Now guys, please don't get the wrong impression, as teachers have one of the most important jobs in the country, and that's to educate the youth. You guys are literally the future. So getting a good education is kind of important. But regardless of all that, all I'm saying is that people like Mr. Butkus, wherever he is now, are out there. So just be careful, know your boundaries, and talk to the right people so hopefully you don't end up in the same situation. Oh, and before I end the video, I wanted to ask your guys' opinion on something. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, Terry, where are the other videos? Terry, we want more videos. And I know a lot of you guys don't understand that these animated or illustrated stories, they take a lot of time to make, and that's why I haven't been able to upload frequently for you guys, and I do feel bad about that. But at the same time, I'm so much more happy making these stories than I've ever been making content before. I know some of you guys missed the reaction videos, and I know some of you guys also missed the creepy story videos. So I was trying to think of a way to somehow come up with a compromise. So I thought to myself, what if you guys became a part of that? Kind of like how PewDiePie pretty much reacts to a lot of things that his audience makes for him. I was thinking, how about you guys send me a story or something that you would want to get illustrated on my channel. And then I'll in turn have it illustrated, voice it, and react to it in one of my videos. Kind of like what I used to do with the webtoons and the creepy stories. I feel like this would be a great way to bring back the reaction style videos, as well as give you new story videos. And at the same time, you guys can be a part of the process. So if any of you guys have an interesting or cool story that you'd like me to illustrate and react to, please feel free to send it in to my Gmail account that's at terrytvbiz at gmail.com. There's also a link for that in the description. Now, I definitely won't be able to illustrate and react to all of your stories, especially if they're like super long or super short. I'd say if the story is like one or two pages, I think that's just right. So if that's something that would be interesting to you guys, then feel free to write up one of your stories and send it to me and I'll be picking some of the best ones to actually make into videos. Also guys, if you made it to the very end, I have another announcement and that's that I'm getting a new sketch artist. So what that means is basically the sketch artist is the person that more or less determines how the style of my illustrations are going to appear. And long story short, some of my artists that are working for me now had to go back to school, so they don't really have the time to commit to working on videos at the moment. But regardless, I think you guys will still like the videos and I'm looking forward to making them. But this will be the last video that Ray and Ray, my two current illustrators, will work on together. So a big shout out to them. I couldn't have gotten this far without them and I'm so thankful that I did get to work with them this far. Okay, and that's the end of the video for reals. Thank you guys for watching and until next time, we will see you guys in the next video. Good night.